The three hot topics of toxicology right now are intravenous lipid emulsion, the second one would be marijuana and the use of medicinal marijuana in veterinary medicine or the accidental poisoning that we see. And the third one I would say, which is one of my old favorites, is using the right emetic agent. So for the first one, most veterinarians aren't aware of something called intravenous lipid emulsion. It's often abbreviated ILE. And it's basically this new fat-soluble antidote that can be used with certain toxicants. So fat-soluble drugs have a really wide volume of distribution. They like to go right into the tissue. And so we can see clinical signs right away. So drugs like ivermectin, moxidectin, baclofen, cholecalciferol, pyrethrins, these are all drugs that potentially can respond really well with an overdose situation with a cheap $50 bag of intravenous fat. The second hot topic is the use of medicinal marijuana or the toxicity that's associated with it. There was a recent publication that just came out of Wheat Ridge and Colorado State University uh, one or two years ago, and what they basically found was that with the decriminalization of medicinal marijuana in the state of Colorado, they basically saw a four-fold increase in marijuana poisoning in dogs. Similar human studies have come out and found a 30% increase in pediatrics in human children less than one to two years of age that were also significantly poisoned by marijuana. So I think as more and more states decriminalize marijuana, veterinarians have to be aware of the potential dramatic increase in poisoning that we're gonna see in our dogs and rarely our cats. The third hot topic, how to induce vomiting. Veterinarians seem to love to induce vomiting when they see a poison patient, but there are some contraindications, in other words, sometimes where it's, uh, where it's inappropriate for us to induce vomiting. A corrosive, a battery ingestion, if a patient's already symptomatic. And the most important thing to remember is to always use the correct emetic agent. In a dog, that's gonna be hydrogen peroxide or apomorphine, and in a cat, we're not gonna use hydrogen peroxide or apomorphine morphine. Instead, we're going to use an alpha-adrenergic drug like dextomator or xylazine instead.